Welcome to What's New Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2017 brought to you by Cosmo Consult. In the next couple of minutes I would like to show you the most important highlights of the newest version of Microsoft's ERP system. So to get right into it I will move over to my Microsoft Outlook. And yes, you've heard right, Microsoft Outlook. Because of the new add-in that we have with Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2017, which is located in the ribbon bar of Microsoft Outlook, we have now the possibility to integrate Dynamics NAV entirely to our emailing system. So in our case, we've received an email with a quote needed for some office chairs. And I will open up this email right now. And as you can see, we have kind of like a split screen situation here where Dynamics NAV is integrated because it recognizes the um, actual sender of the email as in contact of us. So the Coho binary here is recognized and I see, for example, the aged accounts receivable, for example, and other information like posted sales invoices. So I have all the information from the ERP system integrated here into our mailing system, Microsoft Outlook. So in that case, we'll read through the email and we'll see that here a quote is needed for some chairs and a conference table. So to do the quote, typically we would have to open up Dynamics NAV and enter the quote and stuff like that. In that case here, we have the possibility to do that right out of Microsoft Outlook. So we hit the small plus sign here with the new document and we select the new sales quote here. As soon as that is opened, I can go directly and fill in the items that I need. For example, our London chair. So I just enter up London and it recognizes the chair and I can enter the quantity of seven pieces and will enter also the Antwerp conference table with a quantity of two pieces. That's actually it. Everything was already filled in because uh, the uh, system recognizes the uh, email sender here as a customer of us. And um, all that we need to do now is um, click on those three dots here and say send by email, which has everything already filled out. So I have an overview of my sales quote here in the body of the text. And I also have here attached the PDF document, which shows me the actual sales quote. Doing a double click on that, I can actually see what that PDF would look like. And I can minimize that because everything's fine. And I can send this here to the Coho binary. The text, of course, is um, being generated based on a template that you can um, assign for yourself. And uh, everything else that is needed um, is already filled out. So I can just hit send here and our email will be sent to the Coho binary. Also, please note that um, Outlook does recognize this as reply to this email. And we have now completed that task and um, for example, I'll do some follow-ups later on on that case. But the most important thing here is we were able to actually answer this email by creating a new quote without even uh, having the need to open up a different application because we can do everything from inside Microsoft Outlook. So that is, I think, one of the most amazing features of the new version. Also, lots of more stuff and possibilities here. For example, create new customers based on the contact information that you have in Outlook. Like you get a new email from a new contact, for example, and you can create that as a contact or as a new lead um, out of the box here with, uh, without any, any third application to that. So that is uh, the most important stuff about Outlook and we will jump now right into the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2017 web client and close the sales code from the example before so that we have here our starting page from our web client. That looks on the first, on the first view, it looks pretty much the same than before, but it has some nice and cool features here included. Like if we go, for example, for the uh, item overview here, in that case, we do not only have that boring kind of list style here, but we have also the possibility to show us uh, big uh, items here um, with big pictures. And um, I hope there are some pictures somewhere here. Yeah, here we go. Um, or we can go actually with a small icon base here and have uh, all our items with our pictures equipped in that list um, to select that right away. So I think that makes life a little bit easier because we can have now the picture here in a more prominent way, which makes it very good 
to differentiate between the items and uh, sometimes it's even easier to find one or the other item when you have the picture actually there in the first place. So also uh, what has been improved to the web client is also that you can now go and uh, do wizards uh, in the web client which was not a, uh, being able to be done before. Uh, for example, if you would have uh, a new, uh, new sales opportunity or something like this. So feel free to use the web client more frequently from now on. And uh, also in the Windows client, there have been some changes, uh, not to the uh, not to the actual actual look and feel. Uh, that looks more or less like before, actually. But we have, for example, entirely redone and um, uh, newly created item table uh, and item uh, item overview. So um, if we go for whatever uh, for whatever kind of item here, and I will open up the card, we see that it's a totally different kind of look and feel here. Um, we have a much cleaner and neater view on that item card. The information has been split into more groups, like for example here item basic information, inventory information and stuff like that. So um, that makes it a lot more easier to also collapse and expand certain groups uh, than it was before. And uh, you also have some new features like for example the attributes. The attributes can be um, more or less um, free defined fields here for your item card and just imagine what you had before when you had the requirement for example to have a color type field or um, whatever whatever other informations you want to have to that item and that's what we have the attributes for now. So the attributes can be anything and anything you set up. Let's say for example here we want to have the color of that item as well so I can just put in the color here and I can also assign if I like to I can have free text or I can assign uh, values from what the uh, from what the user can actually select so I can say new here and I could say for example it could be red um, it could be green blue and stuff like that so if I have that now here selectable I can go for the color here and as a value I can select for example color green and the nice thing is, it does not only show up when I click here on the attributes, but it's also showing up here when I have the attributes and the corresponding values here in my effect boxes on the right side hand. So that is the entirely redone item card. I think it's a good do-over because it looks much neater and much nicer. And I love that attributes thing here because it lets you easily define how that item, uh, how that item is described. So another really good thing that we have is here the assisted setup. The assisted setup is a functionality where you could have, for example, um, create, um, create your own templates or templates we create for you, like for example, the migration of, um, of, um, of data from a node system. So you can say here, I wanna go to next and I wanna import from Excel. Or for example, if you like, you can directly import all your stuff from QuickBooks. But I mean, the most important thing is that it's like a visit-like feature uh, which shows you and which guides you to a process uh, of setting up your system in a very nice and easy way. And it will ask you all the questions which are relevant to get your system up and running in no time. So I think that's a really valuable feel, uh, very valuable feature for new customers uh, to easily migrate to Microsoft Dynamics and AV. So if we leave that and we come to uh, one of the other highlights of the user interface, I will go here to my starting screen and I will go for my sales orders. And what you've known, uh, what you may, may have already known before is that we can show every list also as a chart. And if I do so, I can select a measure here, like for example, the amount. I can select the di dimension, like for example, the location code. Let's pick the location code right here. So I have that diagram thing here, chart kind of diagram here. And I could also select the third dimension or secondary dimension to have a three dimensional, which could be, for example, build to country or region code. So I have a three dimensional chart here, which I can, uh, which I can have a look at. I mean, that's pretty cool, but you've known that from former versions as well. Uh, but the nice thing is that we can go here and do a right click on that chart and say, I want to customize that chart. And by doing so, I can do a lot of a lot of stuff with colors and stuff like that, but that's not what I want to show you. But the really nice thing is that I can say I want to copy that chart. And when I copy that chart, I can give it a chart ID. Let's 
call it that way. And I give it a new title, like for example, sales order chart. I hit OK and the chart was successfully copied. When I hit OK again, I can go here to my row center now and I can uh, select here the triangle menu and say I want to customize this page and I want to add a new chart part, for example, to the right hand side. I can say customize that part and I will find my sales order chart here and I can hit OK, hit OK again and then I can see that my sales order chart that we've seen from before is now here actually waiting for me and being displayed on my starting page. And I think that's a really nice feature because it lets you easily place any kind of chart on your starting page without having to program anything or customize anything. I think that is so easy that every user can have his favorite charts and I believe that will be for the future a new way of, um, of putting together your uh, starting and role center pages. So there's a lot of more features here to show you so please get in touch with us and uh, we are more than happy to show you everything what's new in the system. But I think I've could, I was able to give you a good overview for today and uh, I think we've seen the improvements in the item do-over. Uh, we have seen the improvements here in the uh, web client with all that item and other fancy features that we have here. And my favorite feature still is here our um, overview in Microsoft Outlook and the entirely integrated Dynamics NAV to Outlook. So thank you for your attention so far and please do not hesitate to get in touch with us to find out even more cool features of the newest version of Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2017. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.